everybody. Welcome back to JTML 9681's LPs. I'm your host, JTML 9681, and we are still currently playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explore the Time for the Nintendo DS. This is part 17 of our adventure. Chapter 10 Dusk Noir. You know, I used to pronounce his name Dusknoir. I think it's Dusknoir or something like that. It's been a while since we've been woken up like that. Well, let's get back to our guild training. Now that's what I like to see! A lot of morning pep! Impressive! Let's see you put that into good use. WHAT?! You can't identify the footprint?! WHAT DO YOU MEAN?! I'm trying to tell you I can't identify what I don't know! What's wrong? WE HAVE A POKEMON VISITOR UP TOP THE FOOTPRINT CANNOT IDENTIFY! Diglett is an outstanding century! So it's rare for him to be stopped by footprints! If those two were to do century duty, it'd be no shocker! You're right! So Diglett never fails to deliver? What about the first time we came to the guild? You guys couldn't figure out J.G. O'Malley's footprints! Isn't that right? Hmm? Say again? You want to meet the guild master? Your name is Dust Noir? Oh, please, wait just a moment. Dust Noir? The world famous Dust Noir? And my phone's ringing. Oh, it's just a. Thank you for visiting. What an honor. No, no. Think nothing of it. The honor is all mine. There is no greater pleasure than visiting Wigglytuff's guild. It's famous. Hey, Louder. What do you want? Who's that? What? You haven't heard of Dust Noir? The famous explorer? Well, uh... Well... Okay, I don't know. That's not surprising, really. He's a new arrival on the scene. He came out of nowhere like a comet. He became famous overnight. They say that his talents of an explorer are super exceptional. So he's really a big deal. There's some more good stuff I heard! He does things unlike anyone else. He doesn't work as a team. He goes solo. Alone? That's right! He's got to be pretty sure of his skills to do that. What's even more incredible? His wealth of knowledge. Oh, so he knows so much in the world. So rumor goes, but he has used his knowledge so to succeed on many explore explorations. So Pokemon revere it with his, for his achievements. That's how I know their claims about his mighty knowledge to be true. Oh, so does he visit here often? No, this is the first time. That's why Diglett couldn't recognize him. Guildmaster just met him for the first time, too. Huh? Then why is he being that friendly? Well, that's just Guildmaster. Even if it is the first time. I see. Well, that must have been a disappointment. Yeah, his expedition was a waste of time. Didn't learn anything. I heard that Wigglytuff's guild was, was mounting an expedition. Well, I came here hoping to hear about the lake. Sorry, we didn't learn a thing. Not at all. It's no trouble to me. It's giving you an opportunity. I plan to stay in Treasure Town for a while. May I visit you occasionally? Your guild receives a lot of late news. Good information. Would be a big help. No problem. Other exploration teams visit us all the time. You're always welcome here. Everyone! 
This is Dusk Noir! He's going to be staying in Treasure Town for a while! He's very famous and knowledgeable. So I bet everyone would like to get the advice from him. But well, let's not overdo it. Now everyone, our guest might be famous. But do not embarrass us by asking for autographs. No, oh, no. If it's autographs you want, I'm sure I can oblige. Information? I'm afraid you flatter me. I have very little information. However, I would be delighted if I may be of service to you. If there's anything you wish to ask me, please don't hesitate. Yup, yup. It's a great honor. Oh, I'm so very glad to meet you. Come now, everyone. You're dismissed. I think I'll go stroll in Treasure Town. Feel free to approach me. You two. I started saying earlier about your assignment today. Bulletin boards. Now, let's get back to journal reading. We got a lot to catch up on here. Lovely food. Tomorrow I'll be off exploring with Bidoof. That Bidoof is sure to wander needlessly, so I s should stock up on lots of food. Why do I need lots of food? Well, as you move around the dungeon, you're hungry. You get hungry as your belly empties. If your belly goes empty, you'll get weak and, and weak until you faint. Oh my gosh! Terrible! Bidoof is a little short on experience, so I'll have to back him up. I plan to write about my expedition with Bi oh, Bidoof's went. Now that should be, really be something to look forward to. Eek! Which again makes me think that someone is sitting picking in my diary! Oh my gosh! How horrifying! <laughs> <laughs> Exploration basics. I promise, and now I'll deliver. Oh my gosh! I was amazed at how little Baidu knew about exploring. An example: if an enemy stands right beside you, blah 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 blah. He didn't even know how to do that, but all he needed was a little coaching. When I taught him, he picked up quickly. He's not so bad after all. We got the job done, too. Types and matchups. I had a nasty scare the other day. While exploring a dungeon, I was careless and took a hit from a fire-type oh, move. Silly me. I'm a grass-type, so I ended up taking a lot of damage. I should really explain what, what this is all about. As you know, Pope... Pokemon, it's actually pronounced Pokemon, not Pokemon. But anyway. They come in many different types, like fire and water. All moves have types too. The matchup between the attacking move types and defending Pokemon types affects damage. As a grass type, I should really watch out for fire type moves. Knowing how types match up is important. When I got into trouble because of all of this, it was louder to save me. The other time I yelled at him. I am ever sorry for saying that. I take back everything I said. I wonder if he would go to a dungeon with me ever again. I think I will apologize to him sincerely tomorrow. That's what I will do. Mystery! Something very mysterious happened. We were in the guild when the place just had a very atrocious stench. I never experienced such a foul cloud of, of fumes. It was an eek worthy moment. But everyone denied responsibility. But there's no fooling me. I know what I smelled and there was no mistaking it. How mysteriously it creeped up on us. Who's the culprit? Rare Expedition. This morning, Chad had told us something that's worth good. Expedition! 
simply ages since the last one. On our last one, we brought home simply massive amounts of treasure. We shared everything with everyone in Treasure Town. It was a happy, happy time. The upcoming expedition should be fun. My roommate Chimeko and I... Oh, Chimeko's the roommate. Huh. We, we were all excited guessing the, the destination. Of course, I'm going to do everything I can. I feel motivated. Inspiration. Something happened that was totally uplifting. Team Deltoy had to go without without dinner for some silly reason. While we were eating, Baidu was leaving a part of his dinner untouched. And this is Baidu, right? The one we call the bottomless barrel because of his big appetite. Oh, so I guess he gave it to some flora to actually give to us. Since he had to be the lookout. Okay. Whatever could have caused that? Maybe he's heartbroken. I uh, figured out what was going on. He was leaving some dinner for JT O'Malley's team. And then the others noticed too. We all did what Bidoff was doing. We left bits and pieces of our dinner. There was only two apples, you dope. Go louder to agonize over the decision to the end. Everyone pitched in to help. Oh, bullcrap. Now something's wrong with that. Back home. We just got back our expedition. Exhausted. This expedition left a big impression. Especially the sight of the lake. It moved me in a way I cannot express. But if I write any more details, Unksu would be upset. I guess that's how you pronounce his name, I don't know. This was the best of all expeditions I've attended. Bulletin board goof up from Bidoof. I didn't realize it. After you take jobs in the bulletin board, to actually do them, you need to use take job. I didn't know that. So in the dungeon, first active without first activating the jobs. No wonder why I could never do my job since I got into a dungeon. I finally understand why Chadit was so upset with me. Yeah, that's kind of important, by Doof. Exploring with Sunflora. Sunflora is some kind of awesome. I went exploring with her the other day. It turns out she's a real expert. When an enemy is just out of reach, she doesn't move toward it. Instead, she launches a regular attack, striking nothing. Then the enemy usually spins the the next turn closing in the distance. And then on the next turn, she's the first one close enough to hit. She sure knows what she's doing. Why I wanted to whoop and holler when I saw her that use that trick. As for me, I always rush into a fight. That's why I end up being the first to get hit. But it's alright. I know the way to do it now. Moves are awesome. Seems like there's another thing I was clueless about. When you use moves instead of regular attacks to defeat an enemy, you get more experience points. I didn't know that. But you also need to hit the foe only once with a move. Other than, than that one move, you can strike it with regular attacks. And you still get the b boosted experience. Moves also have higher critical rates than the regular attacks, so you're cheating yourself if you're not using moves. I'll be using moves more often. I did exactly what I promised I would. I used lots of moves while exploring. But I used my moves so often that I ran out of power points from my moves almost right away. Exploring is never easy as it looks. Yeah, that can happen if you're not paying attention. Gas attack. Something was sure a surprise. Checking out the outlaw board when suddenly stink like rotten cheese. Everyone turned and looked at me like I had something to do with it. I swear I really had nothing to do with that. 
I know I've been guilty in the past, but that time in in my room once. Been twice at the mess hall and once in the guildmaster's quarters. But I surely am not guilty of anything this time. Expedition. Kids going on an expedition! My first one! That's sure to get my heart racing! But what will they think about choosing me? Compared to everyone else, I'm slow and klutzy. Even the Deltoids rookies are getting better and better. But I'm surely not giving up. I'll do the best I can to get picked for the expedition. Camera Dairy or something, I don't know. There was sort of a screen today! Team Deltoy were denied dinner, and they had to go to bed hungry. I reckon they goofed up something bad to the to be punished like that. Still going without dinner is a rotten thing. I know that I surely can't last a night without belly full. So I decided that I'd save up a bit of my dinner so I could share it with them. Turns out that everyone had the same idea. Blah 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 blah. Awesome expedition. We're back home, back for an expedition. It was my first one. So I was scared of something awful, but here I am, back home. The girl sure was inspiring. We got to see pretty Bogbound Lake and other stuff. But what sticks most in my mind was reaching base camp with uh, Team Deltoy. It was the first expedition of, for all three of us. It wasn't easy. I ended up causing a lot of trouble for the team, but we helped each other the best we could. And we finally made it to base camp. I swear they had to be one of the happiest times of my life. It wasn't, if it wasn't for Team Del Tor, this expedition would have been, not have been so, quite so fun. I surely have to thank them. We have news on Zero Isle. Rumor has it, greatest treasures are there. But the treasures aren't the most fascinating thing about the place. When you go into the dungeon, everyone is temporarily dropped to level one, and their learned abilities are zero are zeroed out. From what you've heard, you can't even take in items. Basically, you walk in alone as if you're a rank amateur again. No exploration teams made it to the end yet. They're calling it the ultimate dungeon for good reason. It's rare to come by news on Zero Isle, right? Ooh, new place opened up here. Chancy Daycare welcomes you. I love taking care of eggs. If you ever get an egg, I'll watch it for you. I'll take care of it as if it were on my very own. I've heard that you can get eggs as rewards for missions. So if you want an egg, go on lots of missions. Ah, oh, this place. This is Zatu or, or whatever. Costs 150. You may find yourself unable to open a treasure box to know what the item is within. Any time I need, you need me. Bring the box to me. I will get it open. I shall give you the item. Such knowledge comes at a cost, though.
Kidley Fang. Plexio Claw. Last oak card. Mantook beam, whatever. Boba claw, that's for Bulbasaur, I know that. Gravel rocks. <laughs> Hold on, folks. Sorry, folks. I had to look at some something online. Now I think I know what a uh, Krogunk's cauldron thing is for. With with these uh, rare items, like these in the blue here, you have to get certain ones that match with others in order to exchange them to swap them for even more rare items. But they're, Poke they're Pokemon exclusives. That's why I never figured out how to use it. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the Spurn Orb. The Spurn Orbs are gonna do a lot of good, especially later in the game. Alright, folks, that's gonna be it for JTML and S681's LPs. For part 17 of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorer Time for the Tenno DS. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for part 18. JTML and N681 signing off. I will see you later.